Hey guys, Henry here from Photo Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be talking about three of my favorite free mind maps. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know that here at Photo Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button? as well as subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, and while you're at it, why not share? All right, guys, let's go check it out. Hey guys, now in this part of the video, we're gonna be looking at one called Mind Map. Now, Mind Map is a free mind map that you can use. And it's, as you can see, it says here, free online mind mapping. Now, why do you want to do mind mapping? Well, primarily because when you're starting a product or any kind of digital product, what you're wanting to do is once you have done your initial research, like your niche research, and you've also researched what the product is about, and you've researched a bit more about it so you can actually talk about it with authority, then you're going to need to be able to work out how you want to structure your course. Then once you've structured your course outline, then you'll be able to move on and start creating your product because you'll know where you're going. But there's no point in starting your product if you don't have a direction. So you really do need a mind map of some kind or something that will help formulate the direction in which you're going. You want to be able to go from point A to point Z without any issues and without any problems. And you might realize that you come across something as you go and go, oh, I need to include that in the course. And you can add that to your mind map in the appropriate place. And the best part about that is often it's just a case of copying and pasting the headings that are in your mind map and putting that in your introduction video so that when you're doing the introduction video, you can introduce the main themes and thoughts that are going on during the video. Okay, so here we are at Mind Map, and as I said before, as you can see, it is a completely free mind map site, and it is really easy to use. And as you can go through, you can actually uh, go to the site. It's called Mind Map, M-I-N-D-M-U-P.com, and you can have a look at some of the features. You know, they've also got pricing down here, which is free, which is a it gives you quite a bit unlimited number of maps no accounts required save up to 100 kilobytes of mind map and save up to 10 save for six months now over here you've got your gold one which is two dollars 99 per month and save large mind maps if you want to do large, fairly large ones that are bigger than 100 uh, k and you also have these ones here which is hundred dollars a month unlimited number of everything pretty much and authenticate using office 365 or google accounts dedicated email help now this might be good if you're if you have an organization of quite a few hundred people or you've got quite a few people working on the one project and they all need to have their own special logins and so forth this might be the best way to go so let's have a look at what this actually looks like I did a start up with this one here, and it's a fairly simple process. I'm going to click on here. Now, if I hit enter and then well, on that one, it'll open this one up here, and it brings it from this one here. Now, if I wanted to, if I hit tab, what that will do is it'll enter across to this section here. Now, this is the initial one we have. Let's delete some of this. I'm just going to go there, and on this one, I'm just going to hit delete. And I'm just going to delete these as I go. And we're going to start from scratch. Now, I'm going to be using insert child mode node. Or I can just hit enter and have this one come up. Now, I can also, if I wish to, have a have this come down. Click on that. And have and drag this across. Oops, so easy. Drag that across. And create a map, a map. But preferably just do that. It's really easy. And then you can just type whatever you want in, hit enter, 
and hit enter again and that will allow you to then enter something else and you'll hit enter enter again and do the same thing but I don't want that one there I want this one here so you can either do that let's undo what I just did then we can either do that we can click on there or we can just hit tab and it'll go there or we can go there we, it doesn't really matter we can go here and we can have it go in all different directions by just hitting the tab button and let's say for example I want to have one there I'm going to hit tab we can now enter something else there and it's really really easy to do as you can see it's got the parent mode and these are what they call the child modes nodes and you can also have it like this one here if you wish to and you can add the various styles you want now it's much easier to do this through hitting enter or tab so we can go there hit enter enter again and there you have it now let's go hit tab so as it brings it to the end and then you can just continue typing now as you can see it already formats it for you with a beautiful circle around it and this one here is called mind map now let's go have a look at the next one now in this particular one we're looking at Miro now Miro is also another free mind map but you do have you can price it out and you can pay for it if you wish to so let's have a look at the pricing so free for unlimited team members but you only get three editable boards so you can only edit three times so it's a little bit limited in that one but then if you wish to you can purchase it later on at eight dollars a month or sixteen dollars a month or you can pay for an enterprise one which i think you need to contact them about but let's have a look at what we have in this one miro this is now as you can see the best part about miro is you have lots of different shapes that you can choose from and you can have all sorts of ideas and so forth now i created this one from beginning you can also choose from templates if you wish to so let's go here and as you can see you can choose the different kinds of templates that you want to, might want to use from so you might want to go there let's click on that and what will happen is this will open up with a pre-made one that you can choose from and as you can see I can get this one and we can move the move it around the screen and all you need to do is double click on something and then you can start writing and you go here and you can just start rewriting over the top of everything here so as you've got a succinct way in which you want to do it you've got video chat presentation mode. it's got something which a pre-made template if you wish to if you aren't very good at doing this sort of thing pre-made templates could be well the way to go now let's assume you want to put a shape in there all you have to do is click on that and you can choose any one of these shapes or you can go and choose more shapes if you wish to and i'm going to go here i'm going to create a brand new board this board will be accessible to all team members create a shared board that's fine and here we are with a brand new board let's get rid of that now how do we start this well we first of all we need to probably use something like this we can use this and we can grab that and we can just start something like, like right here and we can type something in here we can say uh, product one or better still front end product And then let's just say we want to do the this particular one we want to have it go elsewhere. What we need to do is grab that and then drag out that line. And once you've done that, you've got the option to choose the type of one you want to use. So I might use this one here, stretch this down just a little bit. And then you can say uh, ebook. with and then from here you can then grab this drag it out this one might be say mind map Just 
obviously you can expand that out so that it fits it all in and then from here you might want to go say checklist and you can just continue on there like that now or you can add another arrow and just have it come from here and go here and go and it's also interactive it'll work out where you want things over here you might want to say I want to make this one a cheat sheet etc you know and you can do all sorts of wonderful things like this and you know you, you've got a lot of flexibility with this you can also delete the line if you wish to move this over so as it can be connected up with this say for example you also want to have another arrow again so as you click on that one and you want to have it go oops this one here sorry there we go you want to have this one come from here and go down to here and how do you want to do it and it really is quite flexible and interactive and so forth it, it works it out for you and you can figure it out but as you go it's fairly simple to use and it's what well, as you grow and grow and grow you can you can shape the mind map how you like it it doesn't really matter and it just becomes much easier but if you want something that's you know what I've discovered with this one is you can you tab button and the hitting the enter button doesn't work quite as well with this one so yeah, hitting the enter button and hitting the tab button just doesn't really do it it's not quite as interactive as mind map but it's still pretty good now if you're more of a hands-on person would rather use your mouse then maybe Miro could be the way to go all right guys and that brings me to my very very last one which is fantastic let's go check it out all right now in this particular one this one is called gitmind now as you can see make your ideas happen gitmind is 100 percent free online mind map mapping and brainstorming tool designed to complete mapping projects, plannings and create tasks. And as you can see, you've got lots and lots of really cool options here. You can have, use their templates if you wish to. You can also choose to do them from scratch. And it's a really, really interactive one, this one. I love Gitmind. In fact, I might even cancel some of my paid ones and start using Gitmind exclusively because it is such an amazing one to use. Gitmind is just, yeah, it's awesome. I love it. Now let's have a look at Gitmind. Now let's have a look at this, right? I'm going to show you. I've, I've just started this little one here. Now I'm going to delete these for a second. And we'll start from here. Now all I'm going to do is hit enter. And immediately puts this one in. Now if I hit tab, sorry, if I hit enter again, I should say, and then tab, we can add one there. But if I'm here, I can just hit enter and hit enter and hit just continue to hit enter and it gives me this. Now if I'm in this one here, I can either hit tab or I can hit enter. So if I'm here, for example, let's just delete those last two. Let's hit enter. Oops, sorry. Tab. Enter and tab. And here I hit enter. I can now have this one doing that which is really cool when you wanted to do this because it will allow you to choose the top things you can do now also too you can shrink it down so you don't have to see that if you don't wish to or if you want to reveal it during the top during a discussion you can then reveal it you can choose the different kinds of layouts you have so if you decide to go this particular layout here can do that and we can shrink that back and as you can see it's changed the layout or you can choose a different layout altogether now let's say for example you want this one and then it changes the layout again etc you can just play around with the type of layout you might want and you can go checking the type of things 
and you can also shrink it down by hitting the control button and then just using your roller on your mouse to scroll backwards as you can see the options on this are so full and you have got so many different things you can do with it and the best part about it is it's 100 percent free and free for life from what i can see and you can do things like you can save it you can change the style let's have a look at what they have over here You've got the style over here you can click on that you go down you can change the colors you can choose the nodes you can add things to the nodes let's say for example you want to go here and check you can add the different things to that you can change things you can yeah, there's a lot of things you can do let's have a look at relationships and you can go through and learn a bit more about it as you go through you can also choose the type of nodes you want to do and you can do a parent node another parent node. you can insert these various nodes and make it how you like it you can also share it with people if you wish to save it reset layout insert sub nodes and it tells you how to do it so if you want to do a line break somewhere you can go line break shift and enter let's go clicking on one here and go shift and enter I'm not really sure what that does to be perfectly honest no okay not quite sure what that is but hey I'm sure if I played around with it I'd work it out but really it just gives you some really really cool options now once again not a big fan of that one so I'm going to go back to where I was and that's the one I like so that's the one we're going to stick with what's this one? Oh, I like that but I'm going to stick with this one can we get rid of that and there we have it so I'm thinking either mind map or perhaps get mind might be the way I'll go if I go free I often choose to pay for my mind maps and for good reason because usually they're easy to use you've got the option to do lots of saving and the best part about it is you can do all sorts of really cool things with them but to be quite honest this one seems to be doing everything i want to be able to do anyway the only thing i can't do is add words in between which sometimes i like to do by adding a little words here it tells me why i'm doing something why i'm going in that particular direction and it just reminds me of what comes up next Okay guys, that's it for this video. Now, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button, as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Okay, and while you're at it, why not share? Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.